The Janissaries are an absolute menace. Uh, Mehmet the second died because of the Janissaries, and we are going to prevent that. So I was talking to BB, and he said, actually, if you have three uh, policies given, or uh, estate privileges given to them, you do not need to worry about them anymore. So we are going to give them this one here. It gives us a little bit of a hit to our manpower and corruption gain, but uh, we get a little bit of dev cost and some trade efficiency, and hopefully we don't need to worry about that anymore. Uh, so that would be very nice. I would like to avoid that, if at all possible. And let's see here. Trade power in Halab. Number of allies at least three or some base tax in Edirne. I can dev some base tax. So we have a mission done. Let's take a look here. It's been a couple of days since I've been on this series. So forgive me if I'm a little clunky here. It's also like seven in the morning, which is uh, early for me. So here we go. Marshal the Ortus. So uh, military tech cost for 20 years, Janissary equilibrium and some army tradition. Very good. So uh, if we can keep the Janissaries loyal and they will stay working with us, then we are in a good spot here. Now, is there a way to check how many Janissaries? We have 21 Janissaries. That's, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's something. So we just need to core this stuff up. Lots of land we've been taking. And uh, let's take a look back at our conquest route. I assume we need to push out this way very soon. Uh, all right. So we need to go to war with four different people or three, three different people here in order to get this land. We have a truce with these guys up soon, but they're allied to the Mammies. These guys are allied to Great Horde. These guys are just allied to Theodoro. So, these guys would accept vassalization, though. I don't know if I want them. Hmm. I would love to get to war with these guys. So, I know I am aware that there is a thing where if we occupy Cairo, we will be able to annex the Mams, uh, just like historically. The issue is, is we're going to have some provincial unrest for a little bit, and I would like to avoid it if at all possible. So I'm going to try to avoid that. So I suppose we're just going to lay low and uh, kind of internally grow for a little bit. Obviously, our manpower is a little low as well. So if we can get that up a little bit, that would be great. The guns of Urban or Urban. I don't know how you guys say Urban. We, I say Urban like that, but, you know, tomato, tomato. So we do need more mail. Mail admin mana. So I'm going to flip over to an admin focus. We have a dev cost guy, which is great. Uh, I'm going to wait and take Miltech before we do that. The extra core creation cost is going to be really good. So we're definitely going to push for that. Matter of fact, hmm. Might be in our best interest to actually take these two before we even core these provinces. The overextension is manageable. It's hardly giving us any unrest. Yeah, I think we wait on that. That'd save us some admin mana in the long term. Allow us to catch up on tech a little bit. We have a loan. It's fine. Cypress gets uh yeah, no. I don't think we need that. We still have urban right here, so. Uh, I'm just waiting on this devastation to go down and then I'm gonna get rid of that fort anyways. Legalism, please. More tech discounts. Great project upgrade costs. That would actually be quite useful for us right now. Let's see here. Let's uh let's do that. Because that will allow us to upgrade a couple of these guys over here for quite cheap which we definitely want to this one i think was the one i really wanted right the early corruption will help counteract the uh bit that we are gaining from the janissaries over extension as well yeah so we have 0.2 per month or per 0.2 corruption per year from the freaking janissaries so the janissaries give me minus 10.1 but then they also have two <laughs> privileges that give me plus two so they're net 0.1 okay we are paying to have it rooted out. Let's see if I can cut that just a little bit so I'm not paying as much for it. There we go. A little bit of extra money. Our manpower is explosively going up. So Dalkadir would be a vassal. I think that's a that's a good vassal for me. I will accept that. Let's uh, improve relations with them. And uh, vassalize these guys. I will scornfully insult. Oops, not you. Scornfully insult these guys, which will give me another 25 relations with them. All right. Proclaim a guarantee. Royal marry them, of course. Uh, yeah, I can extend some monopolies. I don't care. I don't care. Now, let's also... Uh, I cannot... Ooh, interesting. Okay, so I'll give them 25 ducats. A small load of a million dollars. We have some unrest looking to pop over here. So let's turn our army maintenance up. Suppress some rebels. Uh, get rid of this fort. We don't need to pay for that. 
Now, how's our devastation looking? We can get turn that fort off, that fort off. All right, all is well. Very good. Now, eventually, I would like to uh, fix up my fort line up here, and we plan to definitely expand up in that direction. So don't you worry your pretty little heads. Let's offer vassalization. That means we'll be able to attack these guys for reconquest, which will be good. Um, it will allow us to trash the, uh, the mammies, which will be really good for us. Now, let's go down to speed four here, and uh, let's turn some forts on over here. Let our forts kind of pick up. I, I also am going to need to extend that fort line, but that's okay for now. So Kosovo is basically the only place we have to worry about them. So let's see here. Let's get a general there and have them get provoked. That way we can just put them down. We don't have to worry about their unrest anymore. Albanian separatists in this province here. So we'll do the same thing. We'll provoke them as well. This will allow me to... Um, position my armies and not have to worry about unrest anymore, right? Yep. Okay. So let's get our armies positioned over here. Now we're going to Blitzkrieg down uh, the Mammies. And we're going to get Miltech as well. So we'll have a Miltech advantage on them with tactics and cavalry boost. So we're going to be... We're going to be in a very good spot. Yeah, I'm going to hold off on coring these guys up. Turkish, really? Cyprus is Turkish? I did not know that. <laughs> oh, Steopa just posted a picture in my Discord of his, like, Reddit, like, gives you these little avatars every once in a while. I'll be like, hey, congratulations, here's an avatar we made for you. And it's, like, something really weird that doesn't make sense. Like, I got one, it was, like, a dude wearing a fedora in a wheelchair. Like, yeah, that's cool. You know, I don't I don't have any issues with that, but it doesn't really look like me, Reddit. <laughs> but his looks like Lenin with a little princess crown. So, moderately hilarious. So, we are making our way over. All is well, all is well. Now, the sooner we get to war with these guys, the better. Let's pull our army over here. As long as they're not having any rebels in Cyprus, we are good. And uh, we're probably going to need to get a bigger army ready to roll, but that's okay. So you guys have 6,000. These guys have 43,000. And they have some manpower, but uh, I'm not too concerned about that. So here's the question. Hmm. I think I'm just going to separate piece the mams out and try to trash them. And I'm I'm not sure if I have to declare war directly on them for this sort of fancy fancy annexation thing, but we're going to see here. So he's got a navy of 26 and uh that's basically it right here. So Yep. Very good. So I'm actually going to take a couple of extra galleys. I want this this fleet here is to uh, blockade. Oopsies, I did not mean to do that. You guys can protect trade in Aleppo, go home at war. And uh, I think with that, we will attack. I don't need to co-belligerent them. I don't really plan to take anything. Let's go for a reconquest. Now this fort here is solid. I'm gonna get some spy network on them. That's gonna allow me with guns of urban, as well as urban, our, our, um, our advisor. Watch this. 14 day siege ticks. Now imagine if we had a little bit more spy network preemptively. That'd be crazy. I'm just waiting on the yearly tick to take mil tech. But we have his army blockaded in here, so they're they're stuck. They can't do anything in there. And we just need to win. You know, just just uh win. Just P U Ming. Very good. Come down here, wipe out this 11 stack with no general. Easy peasy, baby. Antioch is dryland, so let's come on up here. Ooh. Ah, sadly. Not my best fight, but that's okay. We still outnumber them very, very uh, extensively. So, merchant guilds will lose 10. They'll still be pretty high. Yeah, I suppose I'll grant them the privileges. The tax income will be useful. We still have pretty high tax, so not not an issue for me. Now, let's um the Mams just lost a large chunk of their force limit. And uh with that, that means we are basically Oh, I could have taken that. That's that's a misplay. Alright. Where are you guys heading, huh? This is Hills. I reckon we can still catch him out here, so let's do that. Might even be a white. Yep, it is indeed a white. Let's uh do a 10 to 1 here and leave these guys back here. 
And let's do a quick occupation. Uh, I lied. Yep. Okay. So we're going to leave behind like a couple of little two stacks here. And we're going to have these guys head down here. These guys are going to carpet siege down over here. Basically, I just want to prevent them from getting more men in the field if I can avoid it. You can see they're building up some regiments here, here. Um, they have manpower, so the sooner I can actually occupy their, their provinces, the better. We also have better calves, so we should upgrade them. Yep, see, they're going to get their armies together here. Uh, let's get everybody grouped up on their capital. The sooner we take their capital, the better. Let's go ahead. Make our guy a guy. Two siege pips? Is that what that said? Three siege pips. So it'd be a bummer if he died on the siege, but, uh, you know, I'm actually going to boost my stab up. 69. Nice. If we can win that siege, that's better. Now, we just need to siege Damascus and we can head right down to Cairo. I should have sieged or um, scorched Haleb, but that's okay. Yeah, man, that's their whole army right there. That's a lot of men they got there in that fort. Yeah, we still have Urban. Oh man, they got off the siege here. So now my boys are stuck here with my uh with my emperor. Or my sultan. What is that his name? Padisha. I uh I know some of this vocabulary, right? I know some of these words. Disease outbreak always. All right. So I guess we'll go with the studious son, the 553. And your name shall be Mahmoud Osman. Osman sounds good. I like Osman. It's a good name. I think Osman is actually where, isn't that, I mean, I know Osmanoglu or whatever. Oh, I did not mean to do that. It's kind of the, uh, is the dynastic name of the Ottomans. Where does Osman? I know there was like a famous uh, monarch, you know, a famous root leader named Osman. Constantinople gets some dev costs and prestige or some mana. I'll just take the mana. Now, this is actually not a good fight because they're going to reinforce. Uh, actually, it looks okay. Because they dumped all their men in. Oh, what? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's awesome. All right. So let's get two more regiments here. And let's have you guys start carpet sieging down. And we need to make our way down to Cairo. I don't know. I, I, I am not familiar. I've been trying to not spoil myself with um, the mechanics of how Flavor Universal stuff works. So... I am un un um, uninitiated in this stuff. So this is good. Good war so far. We're absolutely thrashing them. I'm going to march on to Cairo. Let's uh, see Scorch Damascus just in case. And let's head on down to Cairo. They got 33,000 men somewhere. If I can catch some of them here. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I don't know where his army is. I assume it's like... There's some of them. All right. We just need to siege down Cairo. And I assume there's an event that will fire. Attempting to eradicate the other political heirs, the throne may open and result in open rebellion result depending on our ruler's mill skill. Well, he's got bad mill skill, so we'll avoid it. Um, blood is thicker than water, brother. Because I'm calm, I assume. We'll go with that. Now, our defensiveness is holding up pretty good over there. It looks like my uh, my rivals are all lapsing right now. All right. Let's see here, baby. Disease outbreak on there. We've won this siege over here. They have no armies left, so we are in a good spot. We can now full annex or full occupy them. They are not building any armies, so you don't need to worry about that. Uh-huh. There we go. And we've won the siege of Cairo. So let's see here. What's your defensiveness looking like? They have discipline and core creation cost. Really? Core creation cost 20%. That is not bad at all. Now I'm waiting on coring those provinces until I can get these next two idea groups to get the 20%. It may not actually be totally worth, but uh, I'm, we're doing it anyways. Half off Diplo trade guy. We already have one. He's 45. Uh, so I guess we'll just go with the trade power. Okay, so we can split this army right here. They'll be there. They'll be out on the 12th, and these guys will be there on the 4th, and I will be there 
Yeah, I'm not going to be able to catch them. So I'll get them off of Damascus then. They're going to try to dogpile on. But remember, we do have a Scorch. So they're going to be going in piecemeal like this, which is totally fine. Now these armies, yep. And just like that, the auto or the Mams are absolutely getting thrashed. So this is good for us. Okay. So the Mams, it doesn't seem like I'm going to get the event here. I could humiliate him for this guy here. As we get the Renaissance, then we'll be able to pop our Golden Era if we wanted to pop it early on. Um, let's have these guys grouped up over here, and we'll give that to Dulcadir. So in this war, we will result in that, and I guess we should probably just take Antioch, right? Is, is this in the Anatolia region? No, it is not, actually. Interesting. Okay. So I had a claim on it via an event, I reckon. I actually think... I am actually almost positive it was via an event. All right. So let's see down Al-Karak, at least. How are you guys looking? They have less manpower than I do now. And way less men in the field than I do. All is well. Let's um begin the advancing. These guys are going to try to siege down Cairo. But uh, we have really good siege ability. Man, eh, I don't know if that's necessarily a base race I'd like to take. But I suppose we don't really have much of an option. Well, we do have options, but... Oh, yeah. Minus 42 to 7. So... 28 man it feels so good to be playing the ottomans i'll tell you that we have an extra loan now so at the very least i plan to have these guys um oh. um all right this is fine with me they're going to wipe out my vassal's men because, you know, my vassal's a dum dum. All right. Now, I suppose for good measure, I should probably wipe out his armies before we uh, peace out this war. Let's come on over to Gaza. Wipe you guys out. That is a wipe. <laughs> now, these guys are heading into Suez, so we'll come on over here. This is Coastal Desert, so should also be a stack wipe. They do have a general there, so no stack wipe. Now look at this though, 8,000 men they have left. So since they were being dumb and they didn't wanna allow me to annex them, now they're gonna get absolutely clapped in the war. This is what you get, you deserve that. Yes, give me that Diplo. Why am I losing so much money, dude? Army maintenance, fort maintenance, yeah. You'll have that, I suppose. We're blockading this as well. We're gonna sink their navy as well. Screw you guys, you know? You deserve this. You get what you deserve. More innovativeness, please and thank you. Yep. Here we go. Goodbye, Mammy Navy. Wrecked him. Hardly knew him. All right. Now let's see here. 69 war score. Very nice. Um. Now I could release Assyria over here. So I'm going to take that and release Assyria. That will allow me to reconquest that. Now... Man, and I don't know... Let's see here, let's see here, let's see here. Um, so we just need some buildings here. Now I'm, I'm looking... Break the Mamlux. Tribes of Anatolia. Stability at least three. Classic era of the Ottoman Empire. Now I'm looking for an event that will allow us to take this all in one war, but it, it doesn't look like... Hmm. Okay. I'm okay with this then. I suppose I separate piece them. I don't know if I want Antioch. I don't think I want to release a Syrian vassal because I'm going to get claims on it all myself. I reckon. Hmm. Some draw, dry docks. This is, this is fine. Every province with a dock or a dry dock gain one base production. Okay. Looking around here. Red Sea, that is not quite relevant to us right now. Al Jazeera, the Khan, okay. The Balkan Front, foothold in Italy. We're gonna have to do this one. Now, speaking of, let's, um, okay, this, this might seem weird, but I'm actually gonna do this because this will allow me to repay. A couple of loans anyways. Um, indebted to the burgers. Wait, I can't do it? 
Oh, I'm already indebted to the burgers. Really? Oh. Well, here we go. Now we'll go indebted to them again. That will allow me to repay that. That will allow me to upgrade the Hagia Sophia. And, uh... While still using that discount. Now, I'll also take all the Mamluks money. So, we're going to piece them out separately. That's fine. And then we're going to piece these guys out. And I'm going to actually just say screw it and spend the extra Diplo to take all of their land that I need for this war. Can I full annex them, I reckon? No, no, no. Okay, this is fine. That's actually a solid peace deal. And then we can go to war with these guys over here for the rest of it. Good bit of clappage going on there. Now, I was hoping to wait until we get this, but um, this overextension, I, I think we're just going to... Yeah. I'm just going to core everything. That's okay. No big deal. Nice fort. Um, forward operating fort here. Rival Austria. Rival England. Sounds good. Let's um, get our diplomats back. Make sure you keep your peepee -pee as high as possible. As big as possible. And... Um, Repay some loans. Actually, I can repay all of them. So I will. And just like that, all is well. Maybe I didn't even need to take those loans out before, but that's okay. So let's have half you guys come on over here. Let's have this half head over this way. Now, let's turn off our forts, except for this one here. We're going to need that one because of devastation purposes. Everything else is good. Yeah, look at that. Not bad, right? So it's all we need now. So that was a good bit of conquest there. We need this province here, and then these two provinces here. That should be their ally to Timmy. Timmy is not... Okay. This is good. This is good. Let's root out the corruption. Our inflation is still going up a little bit. It's not too bad, though. All right. All is well, man. That was a good episode. I'll take that. I will take that. We're not even done yet. Hungary has declared war on Bosnia. All right, let's suppress these rebels over here that are going to fire 100%. Now, we need to annex you guys in a couple of years. No big deal. Now, I can also yoink some more crown land. So, we're going to do that. I need some dev and a dern. Right, and I can't uh, exploit right now. Let's see here. Can I exploit some dev? Yeah, we can exploit a little bit. I, I exploited from a Dern right after saying that I shouldn't do it. All right. This Hagia Sophia is going to take some time to upgrade. I'll hold the money. I will spend my manpower on it. That's fine. Very good. One more and we will get construction time and fort defense, which are both super strong. Engineering ideas is like S tier. Absolute S tier for me. All right. Let's also suppress you rebels over here. Cretan, Cretan separatists. Yeah, it'd be cooler if we didn't have to worry about them. As the separatism goes down, it'll be even better. Like, it'll be down to... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very small chance of it happening. Could happen, but let's hope not. All right, we have another reform here. Centralized bureaucracy or promoted cultures? Absolutely not. We don't need to accept any cultures because we're mostly going to be expanding this way, which is all accepted culture because we are an empire. Not bad. Good borders. Good borders. Legalism. Absolutely. No. Eh. I think I'd rather buy my corruption down. So, or use it to buy my corruption down. So let's do that there. And um, let's see here. Need a mosque in Constantinople. So we're not, hmm, right. I need to upgrade that, right? If I upgrade that, I can pop my golden arrow literally right now. All right, let's do that. We need to dev it a little bit. There we go. That will allow us to pop our golden arrow on the monthly tick. And I think I will actually do it. But I'm going to wait until the last second. Now, the reason there's arguments to be made for popping your golden era early or late. Uh, both are valid, in my opinion. Early is for snowball. Late is to win more. Um, 
Uh, so I don't know. I mean, you can you can really do both. I tend to be more of a late game, but um, as time goes on, as I get older and wiser, I do find myself doing it earlier than I used to. Um, especially as a t tag like the Ottomans, where it's just like more early on means you literally just roll everybody, just keep on snowballing. And if you don't know, a golden era will give you some decent stuff here. Morale, uh, all power costs 10%. That's the big one. Everything that costs mana costs 10% less mana. 10% uh, goods produced. Absolutism doesn't matter. Revolution is here doesn't matter. But the goods produced is nice. The all power cost is the main reason. And then morale just helps you roll your enemies in more better, which looks like we're going to need to if we want to be fighting these guys. Though they don't look too, um, too beefy. So either way, guys, great episode. We uh, conquested a bit over here. Now, I reckon in the next episode, we'll be able to finish up our conquests in Anatolia. And uh, start working through some of these beautiful missions. Now, I'm excited to see what some of these events happen. But uh, if you guys are enjoying, show your support, leave a like, subscribe, ding the bell, join the Discord, subreddit, Twitter, all those things are linked in the description. That's all I got for you for today, guys. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.